uh, trains to come to a stop is by sending a set speed zero DCC bit packet. It's a universal. I'm Fred Hughes. I'm the founder and the uh, inventor of DCC Bit Switch. DCC Bit Switch products are designed for use with any manufacturer's DCC uh, system. They're uh, compatible with LENS or NCE, Digitrax, uh, ESU, Massat. LGB multi-train system, Zemo train control systems. These products will work with anybody's DCC layout. The purpose of these products is really uh, twofold. I wanted to first design a product that would allow just the simplest ability to separate a couple of trains on a oval so that they wouldn't bump into one another. Uh, and other folks were interested in being able to run multiple trains simultaneously and have them automatically sense when the track ahead was free and available so that the tra trains could proceed. Uh -oh. The uh, purpose of multiple different types of switches was for different applications and quite frankly over the years each new switch was the result of a specific problem in someone's layout. So the first and most simplest switches uh, are block bit switches and they simply uh, allow the train layout to be set up so that there's a sensor and uh, a, a section of track and the trains as they move around and they pass over a sensor the sensor indicates whether or not the next section of track forward is currently being occupied if it is one of the big advantages of DCC is it will allow you to uh, change the signal going to that section of the track automatically and cause the train to slow to a stop and stay stopped until the next section of track is free uh, of traffic, at which time the train can slowly accelerate back up to speed. One of the advantages of DCC is while this braking is taking place, the power is not turned off to the track. As a matter of fact, the power remains on, and so if you have trains with lights or sound systems, uh, those remain operational even though the train is uh, stopped because it had waited a signal. I have a variety of products. What you're looking at uh, on this layout is a combination of three different products. One is our simple block control and all I, it does, as I indicated earlier, is check one next section of track. The train's coming around on the outer section here. If the signal is red, it means the next section of track is occupied. When it's green, it means it's not. The signal's green, so the train didn't stop as it came around. If, if a train would come now that the signal is turned red and pass into this section, it would automatically stop the train here at this point. You can. That's one of the products that I have. I have other products for passing sightings, stations, uh, crossings, at grade crossings, automatic yard siding for staging ladders, uh, 
just about any situation that you might want to run into is uh, available for control via bit switches. Some folks want complete automation, others just want to control areas of their layout where they can't see a crossing or uh, some trouble area where two tracks merge. Your bit switches can either be used standalone or in combination with a series of other switches so that you can have, as I said before, total automatic control. Now, if a layout is controlled automatically, completely controlled automatically, a lot of folks say, well, that takes the fun out of it because uh, uh, I can't control the trains individually myself or I can't put a couple of trains out there and let my grandkids run them or my children or, or what have you. The other advantage of the bit switch product is that you, by a simple throwing of a switch, you can turn the automatic controls off so that the layout reverts to a completely manual operation. With DCC, each individual has its own address, so each individual engine can be controlled as to speed or direction or lights or whatever else you want to control about that particular locomotive. So in essence, you get the best of both worlds. Either you can be the engineer, or you can turn on the automatic controls and just watch them run. There are multiple DCC systems on the market and there's some confusion uh, on related on how do I make the decision on what kind of system should I buy. My uh, bit switches started out to be strictly for G-scale outdoor layouts. So my primary interest is large, was large scale at that time. At that time, uh, this was 20 some years ago, the only 10 amp system that was available, which is really what you need is a larger amperage system for outdoor use, the only one available at that time was from North Coast Engineering, now known as NCE. So I actually bought a, a lens uh, uh, command station and then purchased an additional NCE 10 amp booster to power my outdoor layout. After that time, uh, it came to my attention that the lens uh, system was not as user friendly as far as their throttle was concerned, their hand throttle. And as a matter of fact, their hand throttle looks like this and it was tethered. So you outdoors, you had to be uh, hooked up or plugged in all the time. And I wanted a wireless system. Lens's solution for a wireless system was very unsatisfactory at that time. As a matter of fact, they used a little interface for a cordless telephone. So you had no feedback, you had no display screen telling you what was going on or what engine you were addressing or so forth. The NCE uh, outdoor 10 amp system has a wireless throttle. It's 10 amps uh, for the power booster. I recommend for large scale uh, hands down the NCE system for the, the, these reasons. The hand throttle is much simpler to use. It communicates back with you through the screen on the hand throttle. It has individual buttons to select locomotive or select a turnout or change the direction uh, by a, a simple uh, button that's on the, on the uh, handheld throttle. So the throttle is simpler to use. The 10 amp booster is what you really need for outdoor uh, operation. Their support is excellent. Uh, there are basically no questions asked if you need something uh, repaired uh, in, in the first uh, year or so or during installation. And uh, I think that uh, all around I would recommend them for larger scale layouts. For uh, other products, there are other manufacturers on the market that have excellent products. Lens has excellent decoders that have some features in them that NCE does not have. Train Control Systems has excellent decoders. So I'm not saying that uh, I'm recommending NCE products for every product that they have, but I definitely recommend it for G-scale outdoor layouts. 
The last advantage that you will see uh, with the NCE uh, system is the wireless throttle has the, the greatest range and the quickest response of uh, any of the systems that are uh, currently on the market.